Okay, so what time did you come? Like around I afternoon? You, I remember. I don't know. What? Yo, what's the deal, YouTube? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what's going on, man. It's your boy RJ Dixon TV. Back again with another lit reaction video. And um, we about to dive in some more into this rich homie Quan situation. Uh, RP rich homie Quan before we begin with. Let me say that. Um, yeah, man. So before we get started, make sure y'all smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if y'all new to the channel. And make sure y'all hit that bell so y'all don't miss a video, man. Um, we gonna jump right into it, though. Uh, this video was posted by uh, some guy, or the channel name, I should say. It's called uh, The Truth Is. I think that's the channel name. It's The Truth Is. Uh, I don't know. By the, by the thumbnail, by the title, it looked like a good video. So we about to, you know, jump into it and see what's to it, man. Uh, let's get it. A few weeks back, the world got the shocking news that the rapper Rich Homie Kwan had suddenly passed away. I covered the situation when it first happened and like I said in that video, I was suspicious of this whole thing. I felt that it was strange how Kwan suddenly passed away while waiting to be called as a witness in the Young Thug YSL trial. At that moment, we were only given small bits of information about his passing, but now, the police body cam footage has been released and many people online feel like there was something suspicious about how his family was behaving, making even more people believe that Rich Homie Kwan might have been set up. Hey guys, I hope all is well. Welcome back to The Truth Is, where I drop new videos every other day exposing the truth. In today's episode, we will be talking about Rich Homie Kwan's death. Let's get right into it. Let's get it. It's been a couple of weeks since the passing of Rich Homie Kwan, and even with all the information released, many people are left with so many questions. Initially, it was unknown what caused Kwan's passing. It was first reported by the media that his baby mother found the rapper unresponsive laying in the living room couch. His baby mother, whose name Amber, called 911 after she woke up and noticed he wasn't responding or breathing. Her story is that she found him sleeping on the couch when she woke up to take the kids to school at around 8 a.m. When she got back from dropping off the kids, she saw Kwan still laying on the couch and covered them with a blanket. She then went back to sleep, and when she woke up around 11 a.m., she noticed he was still on the couch. She went to wake him up and noticed he wasn't responding and wasn't breathing at all. This is when she called 911 and the paramedics were dispatched. Now for the first few days, we had no idea what really happened to him and we were waiting for new information. A couple weeks after his passing though, his cause of death was finally released. His passing was labeled accidental due to a mixture of substances that were found in his system. It appears that Kwan joined the long list of celebrities who passed away from substances. Sad, but something that has become a common scenario in the music industry. The only thing is, something seems so off about Kwan's passing, and many believe his passing was no accident. Many people online and even the police officers who responded felt that there was possibly foul play involved. There are a few reasons people think something was off. One being his rival Young Thug's trial that's currently taking place. Kwan was actually scheduled to testify in the YSL trial before mm -hmm. his passing. But what's raising the most questions- uh, that, is, that, that, that is crazy though, I'm not gonna lie. The, uh, I, I, forgot, I forgot about that, that he was uh, supposed to uh, testify in the Young Thug case before his uh, before his death. I, I, I completely forgot about that. That's crazy. No, that's probably a coincidence, though, but it's just crazy, man. It, it just all be seeming crazy. And, uh, we watched the, um, if you're a subscriber, you know what I'm saying, and you saw my last video, not my last video, but the other Rich Homie Kwan video, we watched his brother's body cam footage. So I haven't seen his girlfriend's uh, footage yet. I think they're going to show it in this video. We're going to watch it. Um, so, yeah, I haven't seen this this one yet. So, hopefully they show the whole thing. ...was the behavior of some of the friends and family that were at the house when the police arrived. Recently, body cam footage of the police officers who responded to the 911 call has been released, and it raises some serious questions. One of the main things people have been questioning is how the baby mother Amber was behaving when the police officers were questioning her. Conscious. Well, he was in progress. He said, last he's seen her here at four in the morning. Mm -hmm. I know he didn't come in the morning. I don't know either. I don't know either. Or anything. Um, I left huh? to take my son to school this morning. I he was laid on the couch. But I seen, like, mail all over the floor. Like, he had knocked over something. Like, he was trying to get somewhere to sit down. I don't know. Those guys will sit down. So, what? Um, when I left, he was still away. I checked on him and I put a blanket over him. I came back. I'm like, okay, he's still good. 
I left him there. He'll okay. usually just get up and come in the room. So after that, I woke up around 11. I'm not coming here. I don't feel his pulse, his heart, or anything. So when you saw when you saw him when you saw him the first time, was he breathing? Did you see he stomach? was he was breathing, but he was breathing hard. He was breathing hard, but you didn't like, think nothing of it. Is, no, I didn't. He that, was just sleep. I I, Does he have any underlying condition or anything? No, not that I know of. He's never been having to been on medication, hospital, or anything. Okay. So you said last time he went out, you said he went to the club last night or something? No, I no he yeah. didn't go anywhere. Okay. He didn't go nowhere. So I don't. He didn't go nowhere. Okay. So what you say he you, you came in? He was laying on the couch. Yeah, when I came when I came out the room, our room is right here. He was laying on the couch when okay. I took my son to school this morning. Okay, this morning, okay. He was good. I like came back, good. he was still good. I put the blanket on did him. You, did, you ask, did you talk to him by any chance or anything? Or no, just, we didn't we wouldn't we didn't talk. He mm -hmm. was just asleep. Mm -hmm. So I left him there, I put a blanket over him. Mm -hmm. And I got up at eleven and I come in here, I feel his face cold. Face cold. And that's okay. how I knew if he was breathing because his earring was moving, because he is pulse. Yeah, okay, it's pulse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Okay. That's crazy. All right. So, uh, They're working on him. So you say he was foaming out the mouth? Yeah, I turned his face over. Uh -huh. Nothing like. Do you see anything? Stuff, maybe anything he might have taken or anything like that? No. Okay. All right. That's thank crazy. you. What's your name, ma'am? Amber. Amber. All right. Just give us a second what they're working on. Okay. Ready is the best. I'm breathing hard. All right. So hard, anybody, I mean, what was he, what was he doing yesterday? He wasn't doing anything. Did he eat anything, Mike? Yeah, he ate yesterday. Okay. They're working on it, okay? Hey, you left them right there. That's crazy. I've never seen in the Yeah. As you saw for yourself, Kwan's baby mother, CPR. Amber, tells the police what happened. Now, while we already know all this information, what people are more concerned about is how she was behaving during speaking to the officer. Many people have pointed out a lack of emotions coming from a woman who just lost her boyfriend and baby father. People are also calling out the fact that she was wiping her eyes as if she were crying, but no tears appear to show on her face. People are also talking about the way she was talking, which seemed forced and almost an act. While we don't know how people are going to react to a situation like this, I myself feel that her her behavior doesn't match what I would expect from someone who just lost someone so important to them. Now we don't know, maybe this is just the way she reacted to this situation. But what gets me is the way that she's talking and wiping her tears that aren't there and it makes her seem like she's hiding something. I'm not okay. saying she has anything to do with what happened to Kwan, but it appears that she might know more than what she's leading on. Many people believe that because of her behavior here, she might somehow be involved in all of this. Another person who raised a lot of questions was his own brother, who was also at the house. Hold on, let's 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 stop right there real quick. So, to comment on that, like like yeah, like you don't know how people are gonna react to a situation, to uh, a situation like this. Like, you don't know. Like people react different. You know what I'm saying? They agree different, or whatever. But. It seemed like that just happened. Like, he's still on the ground. They still was giving him CPR and everything, trying to save his life. And she was like, like, I, like, I don't know. I feel like it would have been, should have been real tears, though. Like, I didn't even notice that she was wiping fit, like, no tears, you know. When they pointed that out, that kind of makes sense. Like, it should have been real tears. Like, she should have been, uh, like, I don't know. But you, you never know how people react then again, but. That did seem just a little off though, but. The brother when questioned by police says some interesting things that didn't seem to hold up. Apparently, Kwan's brother found them passed out on the ground with food still in his mouth. He claims that he carried his brother to the couch and left him there. He even goes on to show the officers a photo of Kwan sleeping with food in his mouth as proof. Hey, what's your uh, relationship? So, uh, okay. you, were, you, you live here too, right? Did you make contact with him yesterday or anything? I saw him in the morning. Yeah. So I get three, four in the morning and I put him on the sofa. Because he was just sleep. Mm -hmm. so he was snoring and shit, so I... He's not crying. He was like sleeping. it was just another day for him. He's not snoring. I mean, something's he, wrong, he, man. Like, he ain't even got to be crying. Look, he just said something's wrong. 
Hold on, I'm gonna go back. My bad. I'm talking. But he ain't even like. He just like it's just another day. But. That's how you sleep this morning. Snoring. Something's wrong, right? Does he sleep? Like Yeah, I put him on the sofa. Because he was snoring. <coughs> he was snoring. He was still snoring. He was asleep. Like, and I see he had food in his mouth. I'm like, how the fuck you fall asleep with food in your mouth? Even the officer just said something wrong by looking at that picture. Just by looking at the picture. Look at this. Does he sleep like that? He sleep hard. No, nah, like with his eyes like that. Yeah, he sleep hard. Mm. I would I would have called somebody if I ain't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. If, 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 if it didn't look normal, I would have been there. Mm -hmm. But like I've seen him sleep like that before. But with the mouths and stuff like that. Yeah. Finally, when I came back, but when I got up, Miss Now. So you saw him last night on the sofa or the floor? Sofa. They told me to put, put him on the floor. On the floor. But I put him on the sofa. Okay. I'm the one that dragged him and put him right here. Okay. 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 Damn. Even the officers say, no, nah, something's wrong. As soon as you okay. see the picture. As you heard for yourself, Kwan's brother found him passed out on the floor and for whatever reason didn't think to call 911. Instead, he laid them on the couch and took a photo of him with food in his mouth. It was also strange that just like the baby mother, there was no tears on his brother's face and almost no emotion was shown over losing his own brother. Another man there was Kwan's engineer and he seemed to behave the most suspicious. He, for whatever reason, didn't even want to tell the police his name. I understand some people don't trust the police and I am one of them. But if someone passed away in the same house I'm in and I have nothing to do with it, I'm going to answer every question as honest and direct as possible. I know that if I withheld any information, that it would only make me seem more suspicious. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Hey, bro. Who is it to you? Does he have any underlying diseases you know about? How long you know him? I know him for a wow, while. Uh, at least mm -hmm. five, six years. Okay. Did he eat anything? Did he order something yesterday? Or what, what do you think? I have no idea. I just... <coughs> I didn't even know I was up in the room, but uh, the girl was calling my name and I was up in the room. Okay. You know, and she was on the phone with the 911. Yeah. And they were telling us to start CPR. Does he have any underlying disease or anything that you guys know of? Diabetic, nothing? No, I don't think so. Okay. I mean, think yeah, she says she does that. Okay. What's your name, boss? What's your name? I need to say something? Yeah, I just need your name because we're in the house. I'm, I'm a I mean, you know what I'm saying? Otherwise, if you don't want to talk to me, you're going to talk to somebody else. Gonna okay, cool. Cool. This one. That's all. I'm going to write it down for me. I did a birth. Hey. Yeah, man. Uh, I need to Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have a little bit from phone number. Yeah, you saw my in the morning too, right? As you saw for yourself, he seems to avoid the police at all costs and doesn't even want to give the police his name. To me, it also appears like he has a guilty look on his face that may suggest he knows something he's not saying. Just like this mysterious woman who was at Kwan's house when the police arrived. This mystery woman claimed to be the engineer's friend and stated she wasn't at the house when Kwan passed away. She claimed that when she arrived, Kwan was already gone and that she didn't even notice. When the police asked her what time she arrived, she claimed she didn't remember. <laughs> Ma'am, what? Yeah. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So, I ain't. Gonna, I haven't seen this this footage either. I haven't seen any of this footage, honestly, because even the the footage of the, of the brother, I seen like a whole different uh, body cam footage. So, all this is new to me. But so far, bro, the way this video put together, the way he's pointing out this stuff, bro, it do low key seem kind of suspicious. I ain't even gonna cap to y'all. It kind of seems suspicious, y'all. 
Cause like, why is everybody acting weird? Like I know people, I know like people like especially like black folks. Just be honest, we be scared, bro. When they come to police, sometimes we don't even do nothing. We, we be kind of, you know, just a little on edge, bro. But if somebody passed away, bro, and you know you ain't did nothing, you gonna be you. You should definitely be like, you know, cooperative, bro. Like, cause you did nothing. And to go to back to the dude who was that his, his friend or his manager, whoever that was, that didn't want to give up his name. Like he did seem a little sketchy, bro. Like I think low key he know. Or they all probably even know that they probably was all party and they got some drugs and they was you know what I'm saying and, and, and Quan maybe probably overdid it and now that uh, that happened that nobody want to get charged with like you know or get in trouble for like giving him drugs you know what I'm saying so that's what I think that's really going on for real but you understand something happened and we're here to just investigate that's it that's it's why not... I have nothing okay I, I understand know. I'm asking you some questions that's it all right. I mean, you're walking away from me. I'm trying to talk I to you. Yeah. Okay. Which spell your first name for me? K I A R A. K I A R A. Okay. What is your last name? Browning. What's your date of birth, Miss Browning? Eight. What's your phone number, ma'am? Your phone number? Somebody passed away upstairs. We are here to investigate that. And we but talked. I have we, no we, knowledge yeah, of I understand it. But we have got the information from everybody else in there that's been in this house. Anybody that's been in this house came and gone from this house. We're gonna get information from them and talk to them. Okay. Okay. All right. That's okay. simple as that. Yeah. This is confusing. Like, what is she doing there? She don't know nothing. Like, like, where did she come from? That's the. Where did she come from? That's the question. You drive the vehicle. Huh? You drive a vehicle? Yes. What's your, what's your vehicle? Which one is yours? Uh, the Honda Civic. A Honda Civic? When did you, when'd you arrive at the house? Was it today or yesterday? Today. What time? Um, I'm not sure. Was it before or after the incident happened? It was like right after the incident happened. Okay. And, and how, are you related no. to the family? Who are, who, who are you friends with? I'm just friends with one of the people that stay in the house. Name? Quick. Quick. So you quick, friend. Mm. Quick. That's the one that's acting weird. And you don't remember what time you arrived? No. I have no idea what has transpired before or after. I was just in the room. Okay. Just Did you hear anything that might stand out? Any promotion, anything like that? Okay. Is anybody else where you are? No. No. Okay. Just want to make sure. Oh, did you did you spend a night here or did you no, you I say didn't spend a night. you say you came I here? Have a bag. Okay, so what time did you come? Like around I told afternoon? You, I don't remember. I don't know. What? It's like around maybe noon, maybe. Noon. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Was there a lot of people here when you came? I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Yeah, what was the purpose anybody. of your visit? I didn't see anybody. I came to see my friend. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. As you saw for yourself, this mystery woman was acting awfully suspicious. Her face also had this guilty look all over it. She doesn't want to answer any questions and tries to leave as the officer is questioning her. This to me raised major red flags and I'm not buying her story. What was she doing at that house while Quan had passed away? You can tell she was trying to avoid the conversation entirely. To me, all of this seems to indicate that something might be being covered up. Maybe some of those people who were there know more than they're letting on. The baby mother's reaction, the strange mysterious woman, the brother who finds him with food in his mouth passed out on the ground, and the suspicious engineer, it all seems like major red flags. While this video doesn't make them guilty of anything, it does make this situation more suspicious. This is even something the police that responded said themselves, as they literally decided to call Homicide Division because they believed something was off. Can you uh, give me the following? Yeah, follow him. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, um... Uh... Okay. See, see what Homicide says, then give him a Yeah. Yeah, something in... Right. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It is? Yeah. Hey, I'm a I'm on a 47 call at 4680 Hamden 4th Drive Southwest. Uh, I got called out here. Uh, uh, girlfriend stated that um, this morning she woke up around like 645, 7 o'clock. 
to drop her kids off to school, and uh, she noticed that um, her uh, baby father was asleep on the couch. As you heard for yourself, even the officers felt that something was off. Now, while I don't know why anyone in that house would have wanted something happen to Quan, I do know someone that definitely benefited from his passing. Young Doug is literally on trial right now for allegedly taking out Quan's manager, Donovan Nut Thomas. Quan himself believed that Young Doug took him out and even claimed that Doug attempted to take him out and his father in the past. It was actually reported that Quan was set to testify in the trial and then poof, he's no longer here to be able to do that. Considering Quan had already said that Doug was allegedly behind what happened to Donovan on the recording, imagine what he might have said in that trial. It was definitely in Young Thug's best interest if Quan was no longer around to give that testimony. I wouldn't be surprised at all and I actually think that Doug might have allegedly played a part in all of this. Considering that members of his entourage were arrested mm. while performing a sacrifice offering Okay, okay, okay. Now, now I think you're reaching just a little bit. The video was good, it was a good video, but I think you're reaching just a little bit on this part. But it, it, I mean, it, you know, I don't put it past him. It could happen, but like how? Like what? Like what could have he done? But I don't know. Let me hear you. I'm gonna hear you out for a little bit. Who knows what Doug and his crew is capable of? Tonight, a bizarre update in the YSL trial involving Atlanta rapper Young Thug. His attorneys filed a motion claiming that his co-defendant, Shannon Steelwell, was arrested, quote, while in the midst of a religious ceremony which involved supposed to sacrifice, sacrifice of goats. Steelwell faces several charges, including this new motion was filed to exclude this evidence from the trial. I wouldn't put it past Young Thug to have had Quan sacrifice to prevent them from talking. Young Thug is into some dark stuff and has proven time and time again that he is an occultist. He is literally being charged with several bodies that he allegedly ordered. One of those bodies is Rich Homie Quan's own manager. Do you really believe that he wouldn't set up Rich Homie Quan to get him out the way? According to Quan himself, he not only tried to take him out, but also his father and actually took out his manager. <laughs> Now what I believe might have yeah. happened is that Quan was set up. His dealer was most likely paid off to sell him lace substances. I also believe mm. someone in his home could have been involved in this plot. I believe someone in the inside could have been paid off in order to make sure no one called the ambulance to help him. To me, it could explain why after his brother saw him passed out on the ground with food in his mouth, he didn't try to help him or call for help. I'm not saying his brother did anything, but I am saying that it's suspicious how no one called for help even though they all admit he was clearly not well. There is a possibility that some of them took a payment to make sure this went the way it did. As crazy as all of this might sound, we must remember we're talking about Young Thug here. The man who admitted he's a Freemason and was confirmed to be involved in sacrifices. I honestly believe that Quan could have been set up and even though I'm not blaming his family, I feel like their behavior is suspicious from what I see in that video. We know that in Hollywood many people pass away in the most mysterious ways. The industry is wicked and every day we only get more and more proof of that. I hope the truth gets revealed about Quan as no man deserves an ending like this. Well, I'm gonna yeah. end this one here. I wanna thank you. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. So, ah, uh, what I gotta say about this video, man. This was a good video. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, truth is, Mr. Truth is, I don't know how, whatever the channel name is. Um, uh, that was a good video, but. The last part, I felt like he was reaching a little bit where he said Young Thug. He think Young Thug might have had something to do with it. But um, like I, but I, like I said, I don't put nothing past him, bro. It could be true. He probably did. And I was like, I don't know how, but that went, the one thing that stuck out to me that he said was maybe he gave, like he paid off his dealer to give him like lace substance or something. That probably could be true. That probably could be true. Or he could, you know, he probably could have paid off his brother and them. But I just, I'm just thinking like, what, like, dang, like. You you a trade on your brother for some money, you know what I'm saying? Like, but it's a cold world, man. So you never know, you never know, man. Y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. You feel me? Uh, hit that subscribe button if y'all new to the channel, man. You feel? Me? Let's go. I'm out.